Welcome to this week's episode of Granger Defined. This week we're doing a teacher profile to showcase the amazing teachers we have here at Granger High School. And we have here with us Dr. Gene Van Tassel. So welcome to the show. Thank you. We just want to start off, first off, we, we know this that teaching isn't your first career. You had another career before teaching, so we wanted to give you a moment to just talk about what you were doing before you started teaching here at Granger High School. Well, before I came to Granger, I was a chief geophysicist for an oil company in London. My job was to put an X on a map drill here and then we'd hand it over to the engineers and they'd put a hole in the ground and we were looking for oil and gas um, all over Northwest uh, Europe. Uh, before that I worked for different companies in uh, Houston and Oklahoma doing exploration in South America and Indonesia, uh, but mainly my job was to explore for hydrocarbons around the world. So, wow. <laughs> That's incredible. What brought you into teaching from that? Because I imagine that you were enjoying that a lot. How did you transition to here? Well, as always, things just sort of happen. Um, it was a successful career, and I, I basically retired from that and decided to come back to the U.S. As my children got older, um, if I had stayed in Europe or whatnot, I, I didn't really want to do that, so I decided to come back to Salt Lake City where I grew up. My original degrees were, were from the University of Utah. And I decided to go into education. It was a lot of fun, and it has been. I really enjoyed it. So you mentioned that your degrees were from the University of Utah. What were your initial degrees? Because, uh, sorry, I'll just let you go ahead and explain Sure. That. My initial degree was in geophysics uh, from the University of Utah. Um, and after that, I got a degree in geology while I was waiting for my wife to finish hers. And then I got a master's degree from Boston University and a doctorate from Nova Southeastern. Now, what did you do? Because we, you, we were talking before the show, and you had mentioned you had done a lot of research with the brain for your doctorate degree. Could you just describe that a little bit? Yeah. Um, for my doctorate degree, one of the things that we looked at was magnetoencephalography, where we were looking at how the brain responds to particular stimuli. I can analyze this space right here and tell kind of what neurons in your brain are firing by looking at the magnetic fields generated by your brain right here. And if we analyze that stimuli, then I can tell what and how you're going to react, whether you react visually or you act to an auditory stimuli or whatever, and that was kind of fun. I spent a number of years running around the country doing seminars on that sort of thing. Uh, I think there's a lot to be learned in education by understanding how it affects how the brain processes information. Well, that's incredible. You could almost tell me how I'm going to react or almost what I'm thinking just by analyzing this airspace. Correct. Not what you're thinking, but I can tell what neurons are firing in what sequence. So I can tell what part of your brain is responding to a particular stimuli. And so I know how your brain is processing, not necessarily the thoughts it's about themselves. See, that's amazing, I, and we love doing this, this Granger Defined uh, series because it allows us to showcase that there are teachers working at the local Granger High School who have degrees in geophysics who went around nationally giving seminars. That's incredible. We wanted to give you a chance, just kind of transitioning, if you could give a message to the student body or to the Granger community as a whole, what would that message be? And it could be about anything, education, or about furthering your studies. I mean, what would you say? Well, after 20 years of teaching here at Granger, I've had some incredibly wonderful students. And I think the best advice I could give to them is don't sell yourself short. What you can do and what your potential is is generally far greater than you've ever dreamed. Uh, you need to get out of Granger with the most you can get and then decide what you want to do and do it. Don't assume just because you haven't seen it done or don't assume because you don't think you can do it that you can't accomplish some fairly remarkable things. Wow, and you, I appreciate that because you've accomplished some fairly remarkable things in your life. Now, just as a closing question, we love to ask teachers this question. You had mentioned that you've had some incredible students. Could you describe a moment in your teaching career where you've been able to sit back and say, yeah, that, you know, it's worth it that I, I left geophysics and a, a fairly lucrative career to teach. Um, I think when in my students, it, and it, you always hear this, when a student looks up and he, finally you can see the light bulb go on and they go, wow, that's cool. I mean, 
physics is like, to me, it's like poetry. And if you can understand it and see how it flows, it's just exciting. And to watch that happen in students' minds and have them see it's not a frightening subject, but an incredibly interesting subject, that's what makes it worthwhile. Well, we appreciate that. We, we appreciate you coming on. Dr. Van Tassel is just another example of what kind of, stu what kind of teachers excuse me, are teaching your students here at Granger High School. So before we close, we just want to remind all of those watching to follow us on Twitter, to like or become friends with us on Facebook, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much, Dr. Van Tassel, for coming on. We appreciate your time. Thank you.